Hey, what's up guys? This is Priam again, back with another Minecraft Dungeons video. In today's guide, guys, I want to show you a very easy way that allows you to destroy, literally destroy, the final boss in Minecraft Dungeons. So this is the Arc Illager, and um, he sits on the throne on the Obsidian Pinnacle. With some decent gear and this guide, you will be able to tackle him without a problem, even on the highest Apocalypse difficulty. So guys, let's get right into it. Alright, so guys, don't mind my inventory currently. I have a lot of stuff which I want to make videos for later on. But um, right now we are sitting on power level 102 because of my battle ropes right here, which could be upgraded to 107. But um, this one is actually a lot better. And this is also what I recommend you to take with you when you are going to defeat the boss. Two times cooldown reduction and then even more artifact cooldown on your armor. Um, let's go to the obsidian pinnacle. Oh, by the way, guys, I am doing this on the highest apocalypse difficulty in the game. So this is the highest level which you can get on. But it is no problem if you do it on adventure mode or another difficulty. This tactic will work on any difficulty with any gear. All right, so here we are at the start of the Obsidian Pinnacle. I recommend you guys to equip some artifacts which allow you to get to the boss very quickly if you don't really feel like fighting all the way through there. Um, so we have the Ghost Cloak, the Death Cap Mushroom and Boots of Swiftness. These three items I am also using on some guides which you have probably already seen. But um, this allows you to go very, very fast without even having to deal with these mobs. Also remember, when your ghost route is on, don't step on the little pistons because this will uh, make you fall in the abyss sometimes. So that is not very nice. Of course, if you want to fight your way all the way through this one, then just go for it. I recommend to just um, go for the boss. All right, so here we are, guys, at the final location where we can hop up with the pistons to confront the Arch Illager. Um, we're going to need some different artifacts. First off, um, I'm going to use this stun instead of the, uh, the Ghost Cloak. And then also, instead of the Boots of Swiftness, we want to take the Totem of Shielding. So we have the Light Feather, the Death Cap Mushroom, and also the Totem of Shielding. And the Totem of Shielding, guys, is essential uh, for this build because it will allow you to deal damage to the boss without being hit yourself. So let me give this as an example right here. I'm going to put down the Totem of Shielding and then I can use my bow to deal damage. With the Dead Cap Mushroom, you can do it faster as well. I have a pretty short one, but uh, since I have this cooldown reduction on my armor, I can pretty much refresh this Totem of Shielding every time without it going down. So this means as long as I stay inside this little bubble, I won't take any damage from the beams or anything from the Arch Illager in its Enderman form. So right now we have 85 bullets, but as you can see, I have a pretty crazy crossbow. It deals tons and tons of damage. You can also bring something that has less damage with higher attack speed, for example, but definitely make sure you bring enough arrows because otherwise this will simply not work. Before we get to the second phase of the boss fight, which is the Enderman phase, I recommend you guys to use the Ironhide Amulet instead of the Totem of Shieldings. Before the boss enters its second Enderman stage, you will be able to swap out these totems. So guys, let's get right into it. The goal for this one right here is to first deal with stage one, which is actually pretty easy in my opinion. You can do it with the Totem of Shielding if you want. I will show you that as well. Um, the Ironite Amulet is actually not that important, but at first you will spawn right here. So you will just pop your Death Cap Mushroom for attack speed and then you're gonna deal some first damage. Look at that. He is already on half HP. I think it will take a little bit longer for you guys to get him at this level, but um, you will just deal also with these little mobs that will spawn at the same time. The most important thing to do right here is to just dodge the purple balls because they will deal quite some damage to you and um, the Ironhide Amulet can be very useful. So let me give this as an example. So we are running towards the boss and use the Ironhide Amulet so we don't get dealt a lot of damage to and um, while we're at that, we also destroy his small minions. Range damage is also very recommended to use against this boss. Let me go back to my totem of shielding quickly. So here we are. Um, we're just popping it. 
But as you can see, he is not dealing any damage. So we are pretty safe in this little area. Also, if you have a problem somehow, you can roll out of the map and this will not take away any lives. I am still on three lives, which is pretty insane. And right now you can use your potion so you can go back to full HP and wait a little bit until it is restored to its cooldown. By the way, guys, this will also work for the cooldown of your totem of shielding. So if your totem of shielding is on cooldown, just roll down into the abyss, wait for it to get back on the cooldown, and then you use the pistons to go back up. But um, right now I am going to phase two. So this is the moment where you swap out your artifacts. You have plenty of time for that, but um, definitely make sure you don't screw up. Also, if you were afraid to do it, you just jump down and you do it right here. So we just swap our artifacts and we are ready to go. So right now we're going back up, use our totem of shielding and look at that. We don't have any problems with his damage. So what you're gonna do right now is just keep using your totem of shielding and at the same time use your ranged weapons to deal damage to the boss. Of course, the death cap mushroom will assist you a little bit to deal some more damage in a shorter time, but definitely make sure you spam that totem of shielding because otherwise you will die in no time. And that is that guys, pretty easy to destroy the boss. Um, you won't lose any HP. Remember that when you jump down the ledge and you can just wait for your HP potion cooldown to restore. So we just found a crossbow, nothing too fancy, but that is pretty much everything you need to know, guys, to destroy this guy on the highest apocalypse difficulty. Of course, this will also work on the adventure mode. So guys, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if this video was useful for you and also leave a comment down below. Um, subscribe for more content if you are interested in watching more guides and how to's for this game and I'll see you guys very soon. For now, 4am out. I'll see you in the next one.